Hey, hey folks, it's Sunday at 6, you know what that means, it's time for double penetration baby, riffs in your ears, mouth, and pussy, we're gonna get noisy in here, oh it's noisy time, it's DP time, it's Sunday at 6, this is what we do, Sunday at 6. Mm. And Instagram tells me that they're telling more followers to join the video. Very exciting. Good on you, Instagram. Ah! Hey, look at that. We got noisy in the chat, baby. Ah! <laughs> it's six o'clock on the Eastern Seaboard. You know what that means, fuckers? <laughs> it's only been a week, but it feels like it's been a week. It's time for DP. Every, every second spin away from you, D, feels like an eternity. <laughs> I've been drowning in an eon of cosmic nothingness, just waiting for Sunday to roll around to give my life some meaning. We know that, uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, there's no meaning in life without DP. If you if you feel like you've got a god-sized hole in your heart, it's not God you're missing. It's DP Sundays at six. DP Sundays at six <laughs> in the cavity of your heart. You do some soul searching, you're gonna see two letters and a backslash. <laughs> followed by a colon and a tag for the time and day. <laughs> That's right. DP316 says, we just fucked your pussy mouth and asshole with ribs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know it's Sunday, you gotta consult that scripture. Read your book. It says DP is double penetrating your ears with noise. Yeah. E. Everyone knows uh, John 11.35. Jesus wept. 36 actually <laughs> is John 11.36. Because there was no DP Sundays at 6. <laughs> 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 Jesus wept because there was no DP Sundays at 6. Well, we hate to make the Lord cry, so here we are, folks. And we got Noah, Aiden joining the chat. We got Alex joining the chat. Thanks for checking out DP Sundays at 6. We, we're We've also got some... Oh, sorry. We've also got some technical support here with our producer, Samantha oh, Padgett. Oh, there she is. I'm fixing the internet. Oh, good. good. <laughs> if, if D is on 3G right now, we might be fucked. So fix that internet. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, on it. I'm not on 3G. I'm on 5D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It causes COVID, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> it, causes, it causes COVID. You know what else it also causes? It causes DP. So this is it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Exactly like COVID, we are going viral, baby. This is now <laughs> a, a worldwide operation. D, I, I, we... The first international listener we had, someone in Germany listened. And I think it was right after you told the Hail Hitler story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so to our listener in Germany, we love you. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you're not a white supremacist. But uh, hopefully not, especially uh, since there's a, a black white supremacist in New York. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny trying to... The reason that he tuned in... <laughs> It'd be so funny uh, if we tr we tried to cancel Germany by bringing up World War Two. It's like, hey, have you guys heard about <laughs> what <laughs> in their history? <laughs> I just found out Nazis came from Germany. Shaking my head. Yeah, that's right. But also, someone in Bangladesh listened, which is exciting. I don't know if that has anything to do with white supremacy. It's not a white supremacist show. I'm just <laughs> saying. This is this is this is not a white supremacist show. By any stretch of the imagination. Um, if anything, we are uh, a white uh, cuck premises show. <laughs> yeah, it's white cuck premises. <laughs> white cuck premises. Basically a lot of gay jokes and, uh, you know, it's just riffs. We make a lot of... We make a lot of jokes about transitioning. We, we do. There's a lot of transitioning jokes. And there's a lot of parodies, and we just hang out, and we riff, and that's what we do. Drop a booyah in the chat if you're hanging out, folks. We appreciate you being here. Drop, drop a little booyah in the chat right there. Uh, much like the topics that Paige was jumping between and my life to this date, <laughs> that was a poor transition. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drop man. a booyah in the chat. <laughs> mm. What about, what, uh, can we harmonize on a, uh, on a uh, parody? Well, I just mentioned parodies. Oh, harmonize on a parody? Yeah, you ready? Let's try. It. Let's try. It. Yeah, I'm ready. 
Cause I'm a gay man <laughs> on a big dick I ride. Yeah. I just one head from a head guy. From a guy. <laughs> Sing along in the chat if you know this one, folks. Yeah, yeah I just one <laughs> head from, head a, from guy. a guy. <laughs> That's almost as good as a don't come in my rear no more. <laughs> Go ahead and give us a little don't come in my rear no more, D. <laughs> don't come in my rear no more. <laughs> By by uh, yeah. Dom Pretty. Yeah, by Dom Hetty. Dom Pretty and the Cockbreakers. <laughs> the Cocksuckers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Tom. Oh. Tom would have gone solo if he didn't have all those cocksuckers around. It's nice to have five to six cocksuckers around you at all times. I mean, that's a band at that point. That's the thing. Cocksucker being a uh, an insult. Well, that's not an insult. I'm a fan of anyone who will suck my cock. Come on. <laughs> that's exciting. That's very exciting. So, dude, just being like, yeah, I'm bisexual. I'll buy the first person who will suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, I always like to, uh, yeah, I'm bisexual, which means I like to fucking say, bye, bitch. <laughs> oh, the classic. Oh, we're rolling with the classics here today, folks. Rolling with all the classics. We've got gay parodies. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. It's been a week. But it feels like it's been longer. I don't know why. I think this daylight gaving time is killing me. Yeah, this daylight gaving time has uh, come a little too quickly. It feels like I've, I've lived in an, an eternity since last we spoke. Yeah, we had an hour pull out of us, and now we're uh, left spent and exhausted. Well, we've established that sometimes... The hardest thing you could ever say, even though there's a lot of very hard words to pronounce in the English language. <laughs> Sometimes the hardest thing you could ever say is, I'm sorry. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. But you know what? I also think goodbye is sometimes the hardest thing you could say. <laughs> After it's, that it's TV goodbye, last which week, is... I've been lonely. I've missed you, D. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you too, dude. I miss you significantly. Also, is goodbye what you say to the first guy who gives you head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got head from a goodbye. He was a uh, yeah. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You just tussle those locks and say good goodbye, and then you feed him an apple and say whoa. That's right. Just I I, I love the getting a head full of hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. ripping those curls. Yeah. Push your face down in the pillow. Leave two little chiclet marks. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> face down, ass up. That's the way we like to cut. <laughs> face down, ass up. That's the way I like to get cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think of. Oh one. my god! I'm trying to think of one for death. You know what I mean? One for death? Yeah. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to get snuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's the way we like to get taken out of eternity. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a live show, folks. <laughs> it's a live show, folks. You get what you pay for. Uh, and this show is absolutely free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free, damn it. It's, it's, it's a free show. <laughs> it's, hey, hey, come here. It's free TV, so this is sex. <laughs> it's a free fucking show. You get, what you, pay. you get what you pay for. Hey, 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 anyone who doesn't like the show, you don't have to be sarcastic. You can just say something like, well, they're trying their best. You know, you don't have to come on here and be an asshole and say, oh, well, I, you know, there are, I, I prefer Joe Rogan. Guess what? <laughs> Fuck that. We're on, we're, we're on Spotify too. <laughs> Joe Rogan, more like no mo. Uh, 
man. We're, it's DP something to six. Yeah. And it's all you need to get your life together. Yeah, we should just start talking about uh, DMT and being anti-vax, and we'll have a bigger show. <laughs> D- DP is brought to you by Kratom. <laughs> when you need an upper that won't get you down. <laughs> yeah, have you ever tried Kratom? It's pretty fucking weird. I've never done Kratom. I, I can't say that I have. But it's like, done, it's like, it's kind of a drug, I guess. I don't really understand what Kratom is, to be honest. I, I used to live with a guy I who feel was like- big into Kratom. And, uh, yeah, you know, one night I was, oh, we have a note from our producer about Kratom. No, Kratom is a disgusting green powder that makes you feel a little high when you're working an office job. And that's about all it does. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, it, that's exactly right. I've tried it. Uh, I, I used to live with a guy who it was like obsessed with it. And, uh, one night <laughs> after a couple of drinks, I stole four or five scoops and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was gross. It tasted like shit. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, it's like a it's like a green powder. Yeah, it's green powder. Yeah, yeah. But it's also like so I don't it's, know, more... it's like kind of a health food. I don't know. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Not so so it's food. like horny matcha. Horn matcha. What the hell is that? It's like horny matcha. Is that the green <laughs> sauce they give you with your chips at Mexican restaurants? What is that? It's 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 like a it's a green tea. It's like a green tea powder. Ah, green yeah. tea powder. Yeah, it's like matcha for people who listen to too much come down. Okay. Huh. I think I think kratom's like a come down thing too. It seems like those kind of guys. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? They they show hard for kratom. <laughs> kratom and blue yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, well, blue chew is awesome. Have you ever tried blue chew? I have never tried blue chew. I gotta say, <sighs> maybe I'll do that on a, on a future DP. Maybe do we'll, blue chew. Yeah, maybe we could do a thing. We'll do blue chew together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this show we're both gonna have big ass rods. We're both gonna we're gonna stream <laughs> for four hours, and if the show lasts for more than four hours, you need to call a doctor. Because <laughs> somebody's gone awry with the blue chew. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, we, we've we been talking about it. Uh, we should get sponsored by a popper company. Yeah, I know. I You know, the one that obviously we would want is Pig Sweat, because we like going hog wild. Uh, it has a nice ring to it. DP brought to you by Pig Sweat Poppers. And I'll be honest. You're ever going hog wild in the bedroom <laughs> and you need a little something to loosen up? Pig sweat. It'll get you ready for a night of 100% hog wild. No need to shoot up a theater. The 100% <laughs> hog wild of all activities. You can go 99%. Some ketamine with the boys. Watching Joker on the big screen. And getting your ass absolutely railed by one of the fellas next to you. And you'll be saying, please, come in my rear. Once more, <laughs> big sweat poppers. Please come in my <laughs> rear once more. I like, <laughs> I like the logic that <laughs> the logic that you had in that was hilarious. The logic that <laughs> mo- lo- shootings are happening because people aren't having satisfying gay sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I could, I, I mean, buy that. Yeah. That's that's what most of the uh, that's what most of the um, mass shooters are really frustrated about. They just can't find a loving boyfriend to go home to. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You know the Unabomber manifesto. It was basically his running profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could you could translate any manifesto into just I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Just over and over. <laughs> <laughs> the Aurora, Colo- the Aurora, Colorado shooter, Columbine. You go on any of their uh, bios, and it just says, "Yes, they wanted cocks so desperately, but they could not find it anywhere." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, the thing with poppers is, um, yes. You can use them for, for beautiful, beautiful gay sex, and I think that's wonderful. But I also like to use them recreationally. When you're just walking around drinking whiskey in the streets, and you're also hitting some pops, it's a good night. <laughs> Wh- whiskey in the streets, pops in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it gets your asshole loose, gets your body loose. You're ready to fucking roll around in the mud with someone. Go hog wild. Yeah, no, I like I like doing poppers recreationally too. It's like it's like open minded whippets. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the real issue is uh pig sweat 
I'm a fan. I've used their product many, many times. But <laughs> I can't find any email, any number, anything. I, I, if anyone knows how to get in, in contact with Big Sweat, the show... I think we could have a beautiful partnership. We could have a beautiful relationship with Pig Sweat. They could sponsor the show. And we could say, <laughs> if you want to go hog wild, if you want to put a hog in your wild ass, <laughs> then you're going to want to use Pig Sweat. But I, I also, I guess if we're going to give them free advertisement, then they don't need to, they don't need to pay Pig them. Sweat. Listen to this. We are cutting wonderful promos over Instagram Live. That's right. You should be checking this out. And soon, you'll be able to hear these on beautiful Spotify as well. That's right. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Because we're giving them free advertising. Pig Sweat, this is an official notice. We like your product, but until you sponsor us, we are going to recommend Rush. Everybody, use Rush. It's the superior popper. Use Rush. It's better than Pig Sweat. Everybody, remember what I was saying earlier about a uh, sweat popper? Well, I'm going to rip the band-aid off the proverbial arm, and on this meme, it no longer says pig sweat poppers, it now says rush. Uh, you want to have a wild night of passion with a couple of piggies in your blankets? Well, you better get some rush up in your nose. Rush poppers, definitely better than pig sweat until pig sweat says that they will sponsor DP. And then the tables are going to fucking turn, baby. That, that's right. Uh, you know, not only is it a great... I, my favorite poppers, even though we love going hog wild, my favorite poppers uh, are named after prog metal bands. So... <laughs> We use, we use Rush. I heard that's what killed Neil Peart. He was on too many poppers. Take it. He took too big of a dick in the ass. Because we love gay sex. We think it's beautiful. But it's just the reality, folks. An above average dick in your ass will draw blood. Uh, <laughs> and I think it will draw say he was blood. the best drummers of all time, which is true. He was also one of the best comers of all time. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rush, <laughs> when you think of that, you think of Getty Lee, or better yet, you think of uh, getting it uh, getty head? very deep in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you know what? That was a, that was a thing I uh, thought I've had before. Oh, hey, Adam Benjamin. Thank you for hanging out. Adam Benjamin in the chat. Probably on the chat if you're hanging out. Um, Drop a fucking booyah on the chat. I, what about uh, prog metal? But it's just, it's like progressive metal. But it's just like, I love trans people. I love <laughs> trans women are women. <laughs> yeah. Black lives matter. <laughs> Black lives matter. <laughs> Dude, if there's if there's a prog That's metal, 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 is there also <laughs> is there a rag metal for like regressive metal, where they just say things like women should be in the kitchen at the home. <laughs> Well, we mentioned white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's like a weird subsect of metal is because it's so ag it's such angry music. A lot of it's religion. Oh, uh, white supremacist but, metal. Yeah, there is like a subsect that's like, and when I say subsect, it's like, I mean shows that like people go to. You know what I mean? Like there, there are, yeah, there, yeah. there are bands, and it's like, yeah, their music is just white supremacist music, <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like any other metal. But you look into those lyrics, no good. <laughs> You flip open the booklet and you're like, "Hey, so yeah, this I was... cross is burning." <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So yeah, I would I would say that that's uh, regressive metal. No, <laughs> it's a uh, it's like prog rock. I guess the same thing. Prog. Rock. You get your uh, your reg rock. Reg rock, yeah. Re yeah. Reg reg rum. <laughs> reg rum. <laughs> I guess reg rock could also be like a reggae and rock fusion. Yeah, that would be interesting. I don't, I, but the thing is, if it's why is it supremacist, I don't know if they're gonna like reggae. <laughs> <laughs> that's is a, there that's a good point. any any white reggae artists? Ah, uh, the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, when I say which seems to fit the bill very nicely. <laughs> when I say all cops, I mean all cops. Sting, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you fucking <laughs> bastard. <laughs> When I say fuck 12, I also mean uh, the man who's harassing Roxanne in the red light district. <laughs> Coxin, my fucking asshole, Cox. <laughs> Those gays come over. I just need some uh, rush up in my nose. Coxin. <laughs> I just need some rush in my nose. <laughs> yeah. How about this? I was thinking it'd be funny to put together, you know, like wine tastings? Yeah. We should do it. Like a pop tasting? Yeah, we should do a DP event where <laughs> we do a live <laughs> pod, but you can also walk around and, and ch uh, go to different booths and <laughs> check out different <laughs> poppers. <laughs> Dude, that would be pretty funny. Just like walk around, just like snorting poppers the entire day. Mm, that's, this is a nice oaky, oaky uh, smell to it. <laughs> Do we have to swish it in our mouths to spit it out? <laughs> like a real wine tasting? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. Go, go the full gambit? Uh, yeah, I, that's a good question. I think if you, if you drink <laughs> poppers, it's going to like hurt you, right? <laughs> that's not... Oh, it, it will probably kill you. <laughs> What a way to go out! That would be an awesome. That would be an awesome way to kill yourself, dude. They say, they say you drinking shit yourself poppers. When you die. Can you imagine the shit if you drank a, drank poppers? Oh, dude, you would be fucked <laughs> up. Jesus Christ! You'd be in a river of shit, dude. It's it's like a it's like a gay guy who doesn't know how to use poppers, and he's just like, oh yeah, it's party time, baby. <laughs> Let's do shots. Just my uh, my producer. My producer has just handed me something that I think is going to up the ante of this particular episode. Ooh. What I have in my hand is a vial of poppers. Oh my oh, god. god. I'm jealous. I wish I could get popped up with you. Woo! Folks, this is D live on poppers. <laughs> okay, D, uh, this friend of the show, Nick Piccinino, uh, of course, me and him are big popper fiends. <laughs> And uh, he... Oh, yeah, you suck each other's cocks all the time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fair-weathered friend. Of course I'll suck my boy's cock. Uh... <laughs> You'll always return the favor. Y yeah. What kind of friend are you if you won't suck your boy's cocks? <laughs> That's just being a... It has nothing to do with gay or straight. That's just being a bad friend, not sucking your boy off. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, okay, let's try this segment, because I don't have poppers, or I would do it, too. Okay. Well, let, let's let you come down. Also, is that pig sweat? Is that rush? What are we working with? Um, this is unlabeled popper. <laughs> this is poppers without borders. <laughs> Coming to a country near you. How about the poverty brother? <laughs> <laughs> and they just go. Mr. Popper's pangolins. <laughs> Mr. <Popper>. <laughs> <laughs> For any South Park fans we have out there. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I'm feeling good. Water. It's time to pop till you drop. Hey! No red lines here. <laughs> Let me know when that wears off, D, because we're going to try a segment. Are you ready for a new segment on DP? Well, I took another hit, so uh, oh, it's going to last a little bit longer. I mean, it lasts, what, 15 seconds? Yeah, something like that. Oh, my God, the pop of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm unpoppable right now. <laughs> the, uh, the unpoppable Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> hey, uh, this, is, this is like a Dickens novel. It's uh, The Prince and the Poppers. <laughs> yeah, The Prince and the Poppers. <laughs> it's just about a guy who's just like rich and straight and then his other friend who just goes out clubbing all the time <laughs> it's about so it's a, a homeless guy uh they they switch him with prince the musical artist <laughs> uh, <laughs> so prince is on the streets getting his, doing poppers and getting his ass fucked and uh the rich the the, the homeless guy's doing the same thing but he's getting to go to great parties. He's not under a bridge. Yeah. Speaking of he's, under a bridge, uh, he's the Red Hot Chili Poppers. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Hot Chili Poppers. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm blowing Homer. 
<laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm blowing bread. <laughs> Under the green bread, though, lots of men I suck and suck all of their cocks. <laughs> I don't want to ever fuck another woman. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop sucking up his penis. <laughs> this is this is the gay parody special. <laughs> oh my god! I, the name of this episode? Now that's what I call splugic. That's gotta be it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. We've got forty-five gay parodies here. This is beautiful. We have. I was about to make another Rush joke, but uh, this song is by Kansas. How long? <laughs> Which, of course, is in reference to the lead singer's penis. <laughs> I do not believe Kansas. The place, not the band. I do not believe they would fuck with that gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas, no gay shit. Not for me. I, 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 also, I, might... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think Kansas. <sighs> it's a pretty red state. It's, it's pretty, pretty red, red state. state. Seems like it'd be homophobic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, country boys make do. That's all I'm saying. And there's a lot of corn in Kansas. You gotta cut your teeth somewhere. People say, Hank, why do you suck cock? Why do you fuck ass? Why do you snore poppers? And, and spread your own teeth. Ass. Ah! It's a family tradition. <laughs> family tradition. <laughs> hey, he has loved some women, but then Jim Beam came into his life, <laughs> and I don't think he's talking about the booze. Yeah, yeah. I've I have loved some women, and I have loved pig sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and they both tried to kill me in nineteen seventy three. <laughs> Dude, dude, it's uh, it's fucking fucking bisexual icon Hank Williams Jr. <laughs> it's a cr crank. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got, crank. Yeah. <laughs> crank Williams Jr. <laughs> yeah. You know. Dude, he's probably he'd be like, oh yeah, I'm bisexual. Bye, bitch. I gotta <laughs> suck some cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the idea like gay gay country music is hilarious there's nothing, there's nothing funnier than just like a fucking like gay dude i fucking love sucking dick dude i fucking love that shit i love having a fucking big old dick in my ass man it's fucking awesome <laughs> like a get up country. in my chevy Gonna drive you down a country road, <laughs> pull out a little rush, and then I'm gonna blow my load. <laughs> Bring that ass for me, boy. Spread those chaps apart. <laughs> We're going mudding, boys. Mm. Yeah, you really don't see many gay country artists. There's a uh, Orville Pack, of course. There's um, there's another there's another guy in like mainstream country, but I can't remember his name. Yeah, what's well, weird? I feel like. Country is starting to come come around where like non red people are into it. You know what I mean? Uh, but, I feel, <laughs> but I feel like for the longest time, like it's just like yeah, only conservatives fucking listen to it. You know? Yeah. No, I get that. It is kind of the uh, target demographic. It's Peter Gregsian. Peter Gregsian. Gregsian. Are you looking up gay country artists? I knew of one guy. He had a song about being a unicorn or something. <laughs> <laughs> about being a unicorn. Okay, yeah. like being a third in a in a fucking threesome. <laughs> that that is too gay. You can you can write songs about gay sex all day, and I'm here for it. Unicorn is too gay. <laughs> I, I don't like that shit. I'm saying too gay for country. Hold on. Too, it's it's too gay. It's too gay for country. <laughs> for country. Well, and then there was a... Talk about, was, talk about I wouldn't... getting fucked in the ass. Get this gay unicorn shit <laughs> out of here. I want to hear you talk about getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> Dude, somebody whose problem with, like, gay country music is that it isn't gay enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't... There's not really that much actual gay country music, I suppose. <laughs> This fucking little Nas X keeps saying that he wants me to take him down on the Old Town Road. Well, uh, I think he should talk more about spreading that ass cheeks to take my load, okay? <laughs> I don't care if it's a bit of a recycled joke from earlier. I'm still going to say it. No, that's good. 
I'm gonna spread my ass, gonna take a load. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck till I can't no more. <laughs> I guess Lil Nas X would not be considered country anymore. <laughs> no, it's just that one song, right? Yeah, yeah. Old Town Road with Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Billy Gay Cyrus. My achy. Yeah, Billy Gay Cyrus, baby. Achy <laughs> shard. That's <laughs> <laughs> after doing a popper. He has an achy breaky shard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, yeah. at this point in the show, I might make a request of our producer. Okay. Um, to produce a charger for my phone because I am on two uh, percent. Oh my god! Come through in the clutch, uh, Samantha. Hmm? Much? You, you should just use my phone because by, by the time I get it, your phone's gonna die. <laughs> oh my! We may god. have to do a switcheroo. Well, if we do a switcheroo. I'm gonna have to post this episode. And oh wait, then here's we're have to restart the Restart the stream. I mean, we could, we could do a little. Too. No, you can just invite me to the stream. Yeah, if you invite oh, our producer yeah, to the stream, that's true. I'll join on that, and then I'll leave. You know what? Y- y'all are geniuses. Uh, that's why we. That's why we have a producer. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, the producer coming through in the clutch, and we do need to keep you going, D, because I have. There she is. Hey, here I am. <laughs> oh, am I a foreigner? Because I'm seeing double vision. <laughs> <laughs> it's too near. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now yeah, it was doing feedback for a second. Yeah, all right. It was. We had a feedback loop going. I like now, that. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can tie up some loose ends on this other one. <laughs> yeah, tie up any loose ends you need to, and then D. So, I've got a segment. If you want to try this segment. Oh, I'd love to. Lay it on me, and I mean it. <sighs> We've been talking poppers, okay? <laughs> this is a nice popper game that Nick and I like to do. Um, it lasts, what, 30 seconds? Okay. Right, poppers? How long so what are you, you doing? How long Nostril? The head rush. How, how long would you say the head rush lasts? Uh, the head rush? I would say the head uh, rushes for me as long as it lasts until the head comes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we need to... I need about 10 to 15 seconds. 10 to 15 <laughs> seconds, okay. So here's the game, if, if, if you will accept the challenge. The game, hit a pop and do a quick comedy set. <laughs> do a 15-second set. I, I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll bite, okay? <laughs> okay, folks, this is Popper's Comedy Club. <laughs> Are you, are you and, give me the light at uh what ten seconds? <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah, basically just go until you you don't feel the rush anymore. If I had pop, right, I'd here... play, but I got I got nothing right now. All right, I got a pop in the hand, and uh, I got a head full of rush. So well, let me introduce you, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, bring me up, bring me up, come on. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being in the chat. Are you ready for your next comic? Drop a booyah on the chat if you're ready for the next. Comic. <laughs> <Booyah>! <laughs> Oh, your folks, you know her from DP. She's hilarious. Popper aficionado. Put your hands together for D. <laughs> 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 oh, it's, it's uh, great to be here tonight in Cleveland Instagram. Um, <laughs> Cleveland Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, t- I tell you, um, I- I've been trans for four years. Don't clap just yet. I've been alive for 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we got any other trans women in the house? Uh, I say trans women are women, and uh, boy, they better shut up. <laughs> 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 I'm about to get out of these streets and into these kitchens. <laughs> I love this crowd. <laughs> well, the the head rush is dying off, so I'm gonna rush off stage. You've been wonderful. Thank you, Cleveland. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Fucking true. And that was D's tight fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty fun game, right? You do do comedy on poppers. Type fifteen, my ass was loose. <laughs> yeah, her material, <laughs> her set is tight, and her ass is loose, folks. That's DP, dude. That's a pretty fucking hilarious uh, premise for a 
<laughs> for a fucking for a fucking show. Yeah, well, you do it. Uh, you do it. <laughs> You do it, it looks like hanging out, and it's like, you, you get like a microphone stand that's like stand. It's like you do a bobber and just like stand in front of everybody. It's like, oh, hey, folks. Now, uh, now, now, hey. Yes. I gotta say, mm -hmm. now I have physical boppers, but could we just uh, keep up some kayfabe and pretend that you have some poppers on your end? Because I would love to hear your type 15. Oh, my God. See, this is the problem. With my head not being loopy, I'm just going to fucking cop out and do jokes I already wrote. <laughs> well, I, uh, I know I am. How about instead of copping out, you cock in and uh, just, just play it for us, you know? Cock in? You want me to cock in? I want you to cock in. I want you to cock in and uh, let's, let's play this little game for us, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'm. I'm gonna do a brand new bit for you, D. I think you'll like it. You might have seen it on TikTok, but this is a brand new bit. It's been done brand once, new bit once on stage. This, you ready for this? This is unprecedented, everybody. We're gonna have a brand new uh, PC breaking here on DP Sundays at six for Poppers Comedy. Poppers Comedy. Welcome to Poppers Comedy, folks. Yep. Down at the Poppers Plaza, we're having a tight open mic, and uh, our next uh, person to come up is going to be Paige Campbell. And this is uh, a, want me to lead you in? What I'll say is, folks, this is a brand new bit. So if you enjoy it, uh, you can come to one of my shows and hear it again. <laughs> yeah, you can you can bust your ass open at Buskies, where Paige is going to lay some uh, pipe on you. <laughs> pipe being pipe bombs, <laughs> i.e. the microphone in his hand when he gets up there and lays some jokes in your ass. That. Exactly right. It's like laying like uh, like eggs in someone's ass. You know what I mean? It's like I lay the jokes in there. Sometimes it may take two or three weeks, but you'll be laughing eventually. <laughs> some of them take some time to gestate. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my proverbial pop. You ready? All right. Also, um, <laughs> my little views. I'm going to try to do, do it through my feet. nose. Ready? <laughs> Hell yeah. You know him, everybody, from TikTok, from uh, America's Most Wanted. He is still facing pending terrorism charges by the FBI and the CIA. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, Paige Campbell! <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, folks. Uh, yeah, I went to a concert recently, and I saw this lady... She had a shirt that said trans vaccinated, which I which uh? means I'm not vaccinated, but I identify as someone who is. I was like, ooh, yeah. this could be a fun role, role reversal. I'll be the bigot. I was like, <laughs> I was like hey, ma'am, you're trans vaccinated? I don't want you in the bathrooms. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I, I believe in science and I think you're dangerous to have around my kids. Oh. You fat, toothless bitch. I'm giving you the light. You don't want to run it. Oh, I know. I, that was my close. <laughs> you fat, toothless bitch. Hey, folks. That's why I was speeding through it, because I knew I only had 15. <laughs> well, you beat the light. You beat the light. You yeah. ate it right under. I would straight up never run the light at Popper's Comedy Club. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at Popper's Comedy Club, we respect the light like we disrespect our law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> do not. That's the first rule. First rule of Popper's uh, Comedy Club. Do not run the light. We will fucking blackball you, dude. Do it. Do not fucking do it. Do not fucking <laughs> that's a do that's a fun run that light. <laughs> that's a really fun addition. I like the idea of a 15 second set, and you're just in the back of the club waving the light like a maniac. Like, go <laughs> on stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> just being like, just being like, okay, he's almost at 10 seconds. You better turn that fucking thing on. We've got 69 other comedians that are waiting to get popped up. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Don't steal time from the room. Hey, there's only so much rush to go around. Come on, let's get this going. <laughs> I want to be home before 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honest, doing, I... a, doing a views through the nose is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've done as many different drugs and substances as I've done. That's like the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> that's not good. Views through the nose, not for him. They cleared my sinuses. I got fucking. <laughs> that menthol I can imagine. My nose. Oh my god. It's almost like you swallowed some kratom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and this, that's exactly right. 
Well, D, we've been riffing for 40 minutes here. Let's go. Let's get into it. How you been? What have you been up to? Tell me all about it. I want to know all about it. How you been? You want you want to know the nitty gritty? You want to know the details of my life? Right I now? want. I love big fat nitty gritties, dude. <laughs> I want to. <hear, laughs> I want to hear about it. The nitty, the nitty gritty titty committee. <laughs> the nitty gritty titty committee. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> dude i would i would proudly rock a shirt that said the nitty gritty titty committee <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad that maybe could be the next merch oh possibly it could any of you with passions for graphic design please hit us up so we can uh abuse <laughs> well <laughs> yeah yeah hell yeah that's right well the 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 biggest thing that happened to me, bro, is I got my wisdom tooth pulled last week. Oh my god! Yeah, I had no idea. I walked in for a doctor's appointment, and they said your tooth is bad enough that we will pull it the same day for you. And so I was Whoa. like, oh, get the sucker out of there. Yeah, it was infected and shit. Holy shit! Yeah, I think it was abscessed, is what they said. Oh my god! I don't even know what abscess means. That's scary. It was creaming like a dick, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, you had fucking cream. You had some fucking dried up jizz uh, <laughs> underneath that tooth. That wisdom tooth was coming so hard they had to yank it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was telling the dentist the entire time. I was like, pull out, pull out. And then he was like, oh, I'm not there yet. And so he came on me and then he pulled the tooth out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's what dentists do. They get in those cavities and hopefully they pull out. Hey, <laughs> dude, no lie, though, because uh, the so uh, I ha I use Medicaid to get my to tooth pulled. So okay. I, that's why I had to wait so long was because I had to find a dentist who would take fucking Medicaid. And sure. So I had to go through Temple University School of Dentistry for them to get the tooth Hell pulled yes. out. <laughs> yeah, it's kids learning how to do it. But the way they do it is they just tie a fucking they tie dental floss around your tooth. <laughs> and attach it to yeah. Your no, straight up, dude. I went into the fucking I went into the fucking dentist appointment after they took the X-rays and stuff like that. The dude who comes in, like, he's like, "Hey, how are you doing?" You know, the small talk that doctors and dentists do, like, <laughs> shit like that. Um, and I, I told the guy, I was like, "Do you know who David Cross is? You kind of look like David Cross because he did. Oh. He looks like he looks like a he looks like if you would Paul stretch David Cross. <laughs> that was and this... maybe. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And... Oh no, you're good. You're good. If you had, like, taken David Cross and, like, stretched him out to Gumby lengths. <laughs> yeah, you put him through the Wonka Taffy machine. <laughs> he looks like Mike TV, folks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if Mike TV had fucked David Cross, this is what you would have gotten. You would have gotten this, uh, this dentist bro who uh, was looking at my mouth. But I told him that he was like, huh, I'm not familiar. Oh, my God. I was like, These I was like David Cross, he's... Yeah, he was like, he was like, I'm not familiar. So I'm like, David Cross, he's a comedian. And then he was like, I'm gonna look him up. So then he pulls up Google on his doctor computer and is like, David <laughs> Cross. And there's literally like five seconds where he's just sitting there looking at him. He's like, huh, okay. And then he X's out and we keep going with the dish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hopefully he took it as a compliment because if he didn't, you, you give someone someone they don't like. <laughs> then, 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 then they're in your mouth. You know what I mean? He's yeah, using like, honest... like control of your tooth. Right. Yeah. I honestly could not tell how he took it because I literally said, uh, "Do you know who David Cross is? You kind of look like David Cross." And then he was like, "Let's look him up." And then he looked him up and was just like, "Okay, I kind of see it." All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: You said Temple University College, right? Is yeah. this a young David Cross? Is this an, uh, a modern David Cross? Because what the hell are you doing? You're in your 40s, <laughs> and you're just now going to dental school? Come on. He, he, was like a, he was like if David Cross had not gone into comedy. Like, if you had gone back to a critical point in David Cross's early life, mm -hmm. where he was trying to figure out everything, and this David Cross was like, hmm, dental school. This is what you would have gotten. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, he's... He's still giving giving you that laughing gas. He's still yeah. delivering. Oh, they laughs. didn't give me laughing gas, dude. I was not sedated for this. They didn't numb you up at all. Oh, they numbed me up. They numbed me up, but they did not put me under or anything. That was. <laughs> yeah. I just, I love the idea of just like like school students like not knowing what they're doing. It's just like all right. Yeah. So I'm gonna numb you up, and I'm also gonna dilate your eyes. It's like why? <laughs> <laughs> so calm down. I'll give you the I'll give you the shades. 
It's like, but <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm 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 doing a I'm doing a double degree. I'm doing a double major. <laughs> optometry and dentistry <laughs> i love getting my guys dilated so i can fuck up in the ass <laughs> hey! well! dilate. Wait, does dilate mean bigger or smaller it makes it bigger right? yeah you make it huge yeah. dude <laughs> yeah dude you got prolapsed pupils up in this bitch <laughs> we use poppers to dilate our guys <laughs> <laughs> Dude, dude, just somebody like giving somebody LASIK eye surgery <laughs> fist your pupil so hard. <laughs> yeah, GASIC eye surgery. Yeah. No, but dude, I, I went into the GASIC <laughs> bye surgery. <laughs> yeah, I say bye corneas, I'm gonna fuck your ass. <laughs> no, but like I get in there, I get into this fucking like dental thing and like when I get there the nurse who had been like doing my x rays and shit. And she like talks she like talks to me, she's like, Do you smoke? And I was like, Yeah, I smoke a little bit and she was like, I'm gonna have to talk to you later in the way the doctors are always just like, Oh, you should quit smoking <laughs> And so I was like, I'm trying to quit which is half true. And so <laughs> It's true when I you're like, saying it to the doctor. The moment you leave that office, I'm not quitting smoking. Fuck that. <laughs> But yeah, you know how it is. So, like, I told her that, and then she immediately picked up on the code, and she was like, oh, it's all right. I'm a smoker, too. <laughs> and then she was like, it's just so hard. And I was like, I know. <laughs> did, I ever t did I ever tell you that uh, story about um, I went to the doctor with mom, and I was, like, 19, right? But I was, <laughs> it was, like, when I was still living at home, right? Yeah. I went to the doctor with mom, and the uh, the doctor was like, Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions, and I was like, okay. She's like, do you smoke? Are you sexually active? And I looked at mom, and I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the lady was like, are you sure? And I'm like, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. She's like, how about drinking? I'm like, nope. <laughs> Just lying to this woman. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the fucking truth. God in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I don't. It's like, sexually, <laughs> what does that mean, sexually? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> yeah. A beautiful man is going to give me a pop or two and he's going to take my ass. I'm saving myself for marriage and that includes smoking and drinking. I'm doing that after I get married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ruin my life after I tie the knot. I'm going to stick my body full of substances. And wreck it slowly, day by day. That's the way to do it. Because I mean, once you got once you got something locked down. I mean, I guess there's always divorce as an option. But once you got something locked down, become a raging alcoholic. Who cares? <laughs> hey, we did have a global pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah. <laughs> How many do you think that lockdown ruined? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know what I think is weird about the? I, I think it's great that the divorce rate is. 50%. I think it should be higher. <laughs> but the only thing I think that's weird about it is they haven't got they haven't gotten rid of till death do us part in in the vows. Every, they haven't done it. It's 50% and everyone still gets up. Yeah, till death do us part. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's like just change the vows, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do do a Schrodinger's death do us part. Till death do us part or, you know, until I find someone else. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want realistic wedding mass. <laughs> till death do us part, or until, you know, I meet a hot pool boy, then come on. <laughs> or, uh, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> till death do us partly. <laughs> How about that? That sounds like a good compromise. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it till inconvenience do us part. <laughs> 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 so this thing blows up like Tallahassee by the mountain goats. Wait, what? Till this thing blows up like Tallahassee from the mountain goats. Oh, I'm not familiar. I'm familiar with mountain goats, but not Tallahassee. It is an excellent album about a terrible relationship that falls apart. You're telling me there's an album out there about a terrible relationship. That's crazy. Right? It was the first that I heard. It. I was listening through it the first time being like, this is about the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> yeah. The sanctity of marriage. 
<laughs> oh, my producer is vying for uh, vying for attention over here. I know I wasn't. Uh, update from our producer. Get her in here. She's we're on her Instagram. <laughs> I am. Um, I found this footage of a uh, Santa Claus. Oh like, shit! Old Steve Austin. Oh shit! We got some footage of Santa Claus and Stone Cold. Oh hell yeah! There it is. Dude, I do. Our I do love that shit when they. Uh, yeah, they would always like bring Santa. For those of you listening on Spotify and not watching on YouTube or Instagram, uh, we just pulled up some footage of Stone Cold Steve Austin in front of the big man up north. This is WWF. This is Attitude Era. It's Stone Cold. <sighs> Santa Claus is giving Stone Cold Steve Austin a blowjob right in front of <laughs> millions of people. It happened live on Raw. Edge thought he was yeah. the first guy to do a sex celebration. Wrong. <laughs> he said, Austin619 says, I just fucked your mouth. <laughs> at, at Patrick, have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen the live sex celebration? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Edge, Edge, of course, was the rated R superstar. He's rated R. <laughs> okay? So the night after he won the WWF title, him and uh, Lita, the, the female wrestler, he was... Dating in the in the storyline, dude. They just they had a bed in the ring and they just like fucked <laughs> on WWE. <laughs> Consummated their wedding night. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's like it's like he comes out and he starts cutting the promo and he's like, a lot of you probably think that after my win last night, Lita and I went back to the hotel and had hot sex. He's like, wrong. <laughs> he's like he's like we, he's like we saved it for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That just goes to show you that with the institution of marriage, anything is possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. If it, I don't think they were married, but you know, he stole her from Matt Hardy. It's, it's a whole thing. Oh, even worse. Well, that's like real. Like, like they, they used it as a storyline, but like Lita and Matt Hardy were dating, right? Yeah. Then she cheated on Matt Hardy with Edge, started dating Edge <laughs> in IRL. And they just folded it into the storyline. And then, yeah, well, and then Vince was just like, "Hey, how about you guys just actually beat each other up on Raw? <laughs> like, <laughs> how about we just let you guys beat the fuck out of each other?" Dude, I bet that made for some good heat. <laughs> the storyline was good. None of the matches were very good, but like, they were they were really <laughs> violent. Like, it was them just like beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> I, I imagine that only helps to a point, but at a certain point, like. Tensions are going to run high enough that they stop trying to actually wrestle well and just want to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a shoot match. Shoot wrestling. It, it's not like if you, if you did that with like two classical musicians and then they were like, hey, play a concerto together. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get some stunning finesse on the, on the fucking pile drive with that. You're just going to get somebody with his nose knocked out in the back alley. Very nice pool with the concerto. Um, <laughs> the yeah. elbow drop concerto. <laughs> Dude, concertos are so brutal. <laughs> you know what a concerto is? No, what is a concerto? <laughs> I mean, they know how to do it, so it's like safe. But it looks it every time they do it, it looks so fucking nasty. They put a chair. What is it? They put a chair under a guy's head, and then they they hold a chair and they smack. Like the way they the way they do it is they like angle the chair so they smack the edge of the other chair. But it looks oh, like yeah. you're just fucking disc crushing someone's head. Like every time, holy shit! They know how to do it. No one's ever gotten like seriously hurt. But it's like if you like legit did that, you would mur like kill someone. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's such a crazy looking spot. Yeah, you know it's wild. I was looking at one of Beethoven's concertos, and uh, in the notes, it just has two pictures of a chair <laughs> along a treble clef. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said great pool because Edge and Christian were the guys who like were always doing concertos. So, oh shit, that was that was on point in terms of we're talking about Edge, the maestro of mayhem. He was he was rated R, <laughs> the rated R superstar. <laughs> Only he could have sex on WWF Raw. <laughs> Dude, I would love it in the Attitude Era too. If it was just like they had two guys holding hands in the ring together, just being like, "Yeah, we're filthy, baby." <laughs> <laughs> Well, they should redo the segment, and it'd be awesome if they had gay, like, a gay sex segment on Raw. <laughs> I don't want no, it, that I seems don't like, it to be Lita. I want Edge and Matt Hardy to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that, seems, that seems like something AEW would do. Yeah. Well, they yeah, are the more progressive company. AEW is for everyone. It's prog wrestling. <laughs> and WWE, reg wrestling. <laughs> 
Did I tell, did I tell you, you know Nyla Rose, the uh, the trans wrestler in AEW? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I told you. Nyla Jax. Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Nyla Jax. No, Nyla Jax is a, well, she just got fired from WWE, but she was a WWE wrestler. Oh, okay, and Nyla she Rose. is sis. Well, excuse me. <laughs> no, it's okay. But Nyla Rose, I, I told you, uh, Dad... Sorry for transplaining on you. <laughs> uh, Dad, I think, just, like, didn't know that <laughs> she was trans, right? <laughs> like, we've been watching AEW for, like, over two years. And he's yeah. just like, oh, that, she's such a beast. Like, has no problem saying she, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then he found out. <laughs> well, I think Nyla Rose might be... He got... He got the... the, the it was a trap, as they say, right? He got, he got <laughs> trapped. But I think it, a boy Abner. <laughs> I think, I think, not knowing for two years might might have changed his perspective a little bit because he was talking to me and he was just like, <laughs> we were talking about like diversity in wrestling, and he was like, "Well, you know, they've had a trans champion. Nyla Rose is trans," and I was like, "Yeah, I do know that." <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "So they have a trans?" I'm like, "Yep, yep." Mm -hmm. And it's not disgusting, is it? You fucking retard. <laughs> AEW has opened his mind where his daughter couldn't. <laughs> I know. Wrestling does work miracles. <laughs> I'm yeah, you know, I'm not saying he's he's fully on board, of course. But oh, no, of course not. But every, every he day, he every day to, he sends. He didn't seem to sound like that revelation like messed anything up for him. He was like, "Yeah, my little rose is true." I'm like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny Campbell, <laughs> if that is your real name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, folks, if you're listening uh, right now and you just found out our father's name is Danny Campbell, go ahead and dox him. Find him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Find out his address, where he lives. Go to thetabernacle.com. <laughs> where it is still listed that Daniel Campbell has two sons and docks him. <laughs> it straight up says that on Tabernacle? Oh, at, at least last time I checked. I haven't checked in a while. All right. Well, last time I looked, it was like, he has two sons and one daughter. Um, <laughs> Boy, are they in for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, the Tabernacle. The God is wrestling with me. <laughs> Dude, Dad did tell me a pretty funny story uh, where, or actually Mom told me, but it, this is pretty funny. Uh, surprisingly, as conservative as our parents are, not anti-vax, right? Yeah. And I think it's because Mom, nurse, right? She sees people yeah. actually getting destroyed by COVID, right? And because Dad got destroyed by COVID. <laughs> I don't think Dad did. I mean, both of them had it, but... I'm I like, thought he got he, it. He did, but, like, a, he was, like, asymptomatic. He didn't have any <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he got the one that didn't do any damage. <laughs> Mom lost her taste, but Dad, you know... He, he Dad kept... never had taste to begin with. <laughs> he, kept, he, kept, he kept going along. He kept going to Dollar General like nothing was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he kept right? thinking Nyla, he kept thinking Nyla, Nyla Rose was cis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but apparently in, in one of his sermons he was like uh he he was like I'll just say this. This is all I'm going to say. He's like if you are refusing to get the vaccine, you're being very selfish. You're hurting other people. <laughs> and dude, my mo mom was like I said my mom. <laughs> mom was like dude, you could have heard a pin drop. Like, no one said anything. Like, you could tell it, like, kind of piss people off. But it's like, yeah, fuck <laughs> you. Like, you come to the pastor for advice? Get vaxxed, idiot. <laughs> and then my mom said, I'm never getting vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We share a mother. That's right. We, we share blood. You understand that? And uh, and blood is thicker than poppers, because <laughs> poppers thins your blood. <laughs> blood is thicker than poppers. That's just science. <laughs> or uh, how about cum is thicker than poppers? <laughs> cum is thicker than poppers. <laughs>
That'd be an awesome t-shirt. <laughs> I am gonna make that shirt. We have do we have a do what fucking feels right, and then come is thicker than poppers. <laughs> what was the other one from today? I forget. Oh fuck! A nitty gritty titty committee. Yeah, proud member of the nitty gritty titty committee. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this show is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> hey hey dude, uh, I got an NFT recently. You want to hear about it? I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, I got some nice fucking titties. <laughs> <laughs> Four years of mining my body, and I finally got... <laughs> Titcoin. <laughs> <laughs> nice fat titties. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I love uh, collecting NFTs. I love NFTs. Nice fat titties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very interested in NFTs. <laughs> Dude, oh, that feels, that that honestly would be a fun sticker to make too. <laughs> nice fat. <laughs> you just have a fuck have a fucking Bitcoin, but in the little in the little gaps of the B for Bitcoin, just put like two like big tits. <laughs> yeah, that that is so funny. Nice fat. <laughs> 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 Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Well, you know what I wanted to mention? Uh, what? This is episode 27. Oh, shit. As old as me. As old as you, and I hope you don't join the 27 Club. What is the 27 Club? Oh, you don't know about the 27 Club? No. No, I oh, no idea. Oh, wow. Well, we had Ken Edwards on, of course. Uh, acclaimed conspiracy theorist. This is a nice conspiracy theory. It's, oh, it, look at me. It's like a thing. Like, I don't know why a lot of celebrities die at the age of 27. Like, very young. Oh. Like, Kurt Cobain was 27. I'm trying to think of others. Uh, I want to say Prince. I don't know 27. <laughs> no, Prince, Prince didn't die at 27. <laughs> but, there, there's like a bunch. Died. Pro producer, can you look up who died at 27? Can we get a list of uh, proud 27 Club members? Because this is, I mean, it's, it's, it is a strange coincidence. A lot of celebs die right at 27. It's the 27 I, Club. I had no idea. Thankfully yeah. for me, I will die in obscurity. So I think that exempts me from it. I would disagree. I think you're a big, big podcasting superstar. And you've got a big target on your back because of that. Uh, <laughs> until you turn 28. We got a fucking list to go off. Our producer has pulled up 27 club members. We have Dickie Pride, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison. It sounds like a Saturday Night Live lineup. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to... Yeah. That's hilarious, yeah. Jim Morrison. <laughs> Next up in hell. A lot of these are people who I don't know, and I don't want to be on the record saying I don't know them, but, like, we have famous... Poet Alexander Bachelet. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Stone Cold Chris Austin. <laughs> well, when you were when you were reading off all the uh, all of the uh, like seventies rock stars, it's like, oh yeah, people who had drug problems died at twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. Dude, there's literally someone named Shot who uh, died from a diabetic coma. <laughs> <laughs> a Russian rapper. <laughs> Um, this, this this isn't as big as I thought. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Winehouse. So yeah, big ones. We got Joplin. Kurt Cobain, I think, is in there. He killed himself. Yeah, of course, it's right? Joplin, Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix. But yeah, you're right. That's still only like... Askiat. Yo. Big stars, I'd be mean, like. Holy shit. And Jim Morrison. And Jim. Yeah, Jim Morrison, yeah. Along with R. Lester, quote-unquote, Dyke Christian. <laughs> I, it'd be funny if there was someone who listened and they're they're like mad. They're, you, you don't know him? What? <laughs> you don't know D Boone? He's a huge star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the Twenty Seven Club. I better watch my back. Thankfully for me, there's only four and a half more months <laughs> till I can dodge that bullet. That's right. Yeah, you die at twenty eight. You're not. A, you're not a statistic. So, hey, let me just cut a promo real quick and say if there's anybody out there who's trying to get me some instant membership 
into the 27 Club, I will find you. I will sit down. I will fucking do whatever I have to do. Talking about poppers, I will pop <laughs> in your ass so fast. You are not going to drag me down to the 27 Club. I am a world-class superstar podcaster, and you are not going to drag me down into the depths of hell. I do not want to do an open mic for eternity. I've seen the lineup. I don't want to be stuck in talent agencies. Mitch Hedberg can go fuck himself in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Hedberg, how old was he? How old was Mitch Hedberg? Was like in his forties. Thirty-five, I think. Oh, oh he's part of the Thirty-five Club. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking he might be twenty-seven. <laughs> okay, it was thirty-seven. Oh, the Thirty-seven Club. <laughs> Extended membership. It'd be funny if we compiled a list of like every every celebrity who died at like eighty-nine, and it's like, dude, <laughs> what do you think about the eighty-nine Club? <laughs> Dude, that would be, dude. What's our ages? What's our current ages added up? Because we could make a club out of that. That's what forty nine. Oh, twenty five plus twenty seven. I yeah, forty nine. The forty nine club. <laughs> oh no, that's not it. I I completely misjudged that. The uh the fifty two club. The fifty two club. Yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. We're, yeah, we're the fifty two club. Comics fans. Yeah, the new fifty two. Right. It's a list of every person who's fifty two who's died within the year. <laughs> That, that's exactly right. We're drawing the line at six ninety nine, dude. At midnight, we should publish a new fifty. A new fifty two of just everyone, every celebrity who died at fifty two this year. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the the twenty seven club is is strange. It's very weird. Why twenty seven? That's my question. That's that's conspiracy theorist question. Why twenty seven? I get that under sacred geometry, two plus seven is nine, and nine is a near perfect number. <laughs> but honestly, I don't understand why. Oh shit! Uh, looks like our producer's phone is down to five percent now. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, we are over an hour. You, you want to just call it? You know, let's just call it. We've had our fun. We've popped our popped our load. We've loosened our ass. I think it's a great app. This was a solid fucking app. And this I, was I'm a great app. app. Classico, of course. Put some put some map in our step, you know. I uh, well just this is episode twenty seven. It's gonna join the twenty seven club because your phone's dying. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? it's good. Gonna... Episode twenty seven is getting cut short because of a dying phone. You hear that, Wikipedia <laughs> hive mind? Add Samantha Paget's phone to the twenty seven club <laughs> along with Deandra Williams. Add DP this episode phone twenty seven uh, <laughs> to the twenty seven club. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, before your phone dies, what do you, what do you got to plug? What, what, what's up, D? What do you got coming up? Well, uh, thing I got coming up, next thing I got coming up is, uh, later this month, probably around the, uh, third week in November, uh, I think November 20th is what we're looking at, there's gonna be a show in Philly called Lisa Unplugged. Lisa, the band I play in, Fuck is yeah. gonna be doing an acoustic show. Fuck yeah. Of a lot of the songs we've been writing. Um, we're going to see if we can get some other bands on. It's going to be a house show. Details pending. Follow us on Instagram, at Lisa the Band, to see when we're doing it. And if you're in Philly, uh, come check us out. It should be fun. Yeah, and That's all I got. That's beautiful. Yeah. What about you, bro? You got anything to plug? Uh, well, of course, Busky's going to be on Black Friday. Samantha Padgett is on it. Hey, our producer, Samantha Padgett, is going to be on Buskies later this month. That's right. I'll be hosting it up. Samantha Padgett will be one of the featured comedians, of course. Ah! And I can't wait to spend Thanksgiving with y'all. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, same, same. <sighs> Probably yeah. going to see Plans Trans at the bird. Plans Trans and Automobiles. <laughs> Plans Trans and Autogynophilia. <laughs> If you've never seen Play and Strains, folks, go watch it. Best Thanksgiving movie ever. Go check it out. It's hey, really fun. It sh it's, I'm sorry, but it shits all over Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown's great, but Play and Strains is, is the pinnacle of Thanksgiving entertainment. Charlie Brown goes to his friend's house where the black kid is sitting away from all of the other kids. <laughs> Meanwhile, John Candy and Steve Martin trek across the country. That's right. You got to get home for Thanksgiving, and it doesn't matter if you have to use a plane, a train... Or an automobile. Nothing can stop John Candy. It doesn't matter either. If you got a plan to start transitioning, you start being trans, and then you're an autogynophile to boot. <laughs> home for Thanksgiving, it doesn't matter what you're wearing and what's in your hormones. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
So Busky, yeah, Black Friday, shop till you drop, come see some comedy. And then December 12th, this is a while, in a while, but December 12th, uh, there's a show, Tip, tip a Cowboy Comedy. I'm going to be wearing a Speedo and a fucking cowboy hat. And Oh, shit! Come stuff, it's at Vazen Brewery in Richmond. Come stuff some money in my Speedo. I would love that. Fucking pin up pager over here. That's right. I know. We might release a DP calendar. That might be what hey! That'd be nice. I, you know, that would be nice. We take some tasteful, you you in a bikini, me in a Speedo. Maybe you could get a cowboy ad. We get, it, <laughs> yeah, and we hope you have a hog wild year, folks. We hope you have a hog wild year. It ain't over yet, and uh, we still got a couple more to go. It's not, to quote the great Darby Allen, it's not over till you're underground. Always remember that, folks. Always soldier on. Always get back on the horse. We love you. Thanks for checking out the show. And we love you. Bye. Mm. <laughs> uh.